In this section, we are going to go to some geoprocessing tools or operators that are really applicable and useful in every project. We apply a few of them but you can use any of them in the same way. The first one that we want to apply is Dissolve Operator. To briefly explain, this algorithm takes a vector layer and combines their features into new features. In other words, it is a process in which a new map feature is created by merging adjacent polygons, lines, or regions that have a common value. To apply the Dissolve, from the Vector Toolbar select Geoprocessing Tool then click on Dissolve. Another way to reach the Dissolve is Search Bar, you can simply search for Dissolve from the Search section of the software to reach it. As mentioned earlier, the Dissolve operator takes the vector layer as input, so we define our shape file layer as input. In the Dissolve field section, you can select the field that you want to perform Dissolve based on that. You can set an output path if needed. As you can see, the smaller polygons were dissolved into larger polygons. You can use this method in some works. In the next step, we will perform the clip operator. This algorithm clips a vector layer using the features of an additional polygon layer. Only the parts of the features in the input layer that fall within the polygons of the overlay layer will be added to the resulting layer. To apply the clip, the same as the dissolve, select the geoprocessing tool option from the vector toolbar. In the open list, select the clip command. Import your layer as the input layer. And in the next step, select Overlay Layer. Specify a name and a path to save the output. Here the clip output can be seen. For better learning, we import another layer in the software to perform the clip operation again. Here you see a series of polygons that characterize the imaging of a particular type of sensor. We are going to clip this shape file based on the yellow area. Specify the input layer. And in the next step, select Overlay Layer. Specify a name and path to save. Here the clip output can be seen. As you can see, the extra parts of the shape file were trimed and clipped exactly based on the yellow layer. Sometimes in some projects you'll need to specify how many points a polygon cover. For this purpose, the count points in polygon command is used. This algorithm takes a points layer and a polygon layer and counts the number of points from the first one in each polygons of the second one. 
In other words it is a spatial operation in which points from one feature data set are overlaid on the polygons of another to determine which points are contained within the polygons. From the vector section of the analysis tools option, select the count points in polygon command. Choose your desired polygon layer. Select the points layer as well. You can specify an output path. A new layer is generated in which the number of points is specified for each polygon. Go to the attribute of the layer. The last column shows the number of points inside each polygon. For the next section, we will use the difference tool. This algorithm extracts features from the input layer that fall outside, or partially overlap, features in the overlay layer. Input layer features that partially overlap features in the overlay layer are split along those features boundary, and only the portions outside the overlay layer features are retained. Attributes are not modified, although properties such as area or length of the features will be modified by the difference operation. If such properties are stored as attributes, those attributes will have to be manually updated. For this purpose, select the Geoprocessing Tools command from the Vector section. Select the Difference option. And select your desired layer. and run. The output layer that you see is a part of the empty layer that we removed using the second layer. In your opinion, what is the difference between the clip and the difference tools? Comment it. The next operator is intersection. This algorithm extracts the overlapping portions of features in the input and overlay layers. Features in the output intersection layer are assigned the attributes of the overlapping features from both the input and overlay layers. We display the two layers on which we are going to apply intersection. For this purpose, select the Geoprocessing Tools command from the Vector section. Select the Intersection option. Select the two layers you want to apply intersection to. Here you can see the final result of intersection. The next command is symmetrical difference. This algorithm extracts the portions of features from both the input and overlay layers that do not overlap. Overlapping areas between the two layers are removed. The attribute table of the symmetrical difference layer contains original attributes from both the input and difference layers. For this purpose, select the Geoprocessing Tools command from the vector section. Select the symmetrical difference option. Select the two layers you want.
Here is the specified symmetrical difference output. If you need to make two layers the same without destroying the classification of each class, use the union option. This algorithm checks overlaps between features within the input layer and creates separate features for overlapping and non-overlapping parts. The area of overlap will create as many identical overlapping features as there are features that participate in that overlap. For this purpose, select the Geoprocessing Tools command from the Vector section. Select the Union option. Select the desired layers. You can see the union output. Here the changes in the contour lines are clear. 